Coming in, white flag raised, and they're off. Good long run before they get to the first of the nine flights they're set to take in this Happy New Year from Mansion Bet rated Novice Hurdle. Two miles the trip here, and Texar is the first one to go on from the spotted jacket of Advanced Virgo, who's close up in second. These are closely attended by Fogurnon, with Carrick Morna Pine just tucking in behind the leaders. A couple of lengths then to the sheepskin noseband of Randallshire Poet and Active God settled in at the back of the six runner field as they make the turn into the straight for the first time, where they'll set their sights on a line of three. Texar it is then in the headgear, showing narrowly in front to Advance Virgo up on the outside. A little bit wider on the track then is Fogurnon as they rise at the first all over it safely. Carrick Morna Pine touching down in fourth and then Randall's here poet and active god. Only about four lengths would cover them then as they come on towards the middle one in the straight with Texar and Jack Kennedy showing marginally in front here to advance Virgo is over in second. Fogernon almost joined for third there by Carrick Morna Pine then active god has just moved up on the outside of Randall's here poet as they come on towards the flight in front of the stands and once again, no major alarms there. So they come on up to pass the judge with a complete circuit of the track ahead of them. Texar by about half a length to advance Virgo up on the outside. Carrick Morna Pine showing just there now on the inside of Fogurnon. And then advance Virgo just moving up in between those two. Active God just moving ahead once again of Randall's your poet. So they're continuing on down the back straight towards the middle one in this line of three. And it's still Texard who's just regained the advantage now from Advanced Virgo. Fogern on just in behind them with Carrick Morna Pine who jumped up well there. And then Active God and Randall's your poet. So a very tightly boxed field. Only about three and a half lengths would cover them as they race on now to the final one down the back. Four from the finish in all. Texard just wandering around on the approach to that one but got over it okay. Advanced Virgo just steadied into it as well and lost a couple of positions. So a long run now before they get to the third last flight. They're coming on towards the last five furlongs. Texar it is with Advanced Virgo now moving up again on the outside for Kevin Broder. After these is Carrig Morna Pine, then Fogurnon with Randallshire Poet taking closer order now and so too Active God is widest of all. Fogurnon just being squeezed along for a few strides here as they race across towards the approach to the straight with Advanced Virgo again moving up now to tackle the long-time leader Texar. The other four are all close up in behind so all to play for here as they straighten up. Three furlongs left to run and three flights left to take. Advanced Virgo has just about picked it up now from Texar with Fogurnon coming back in the centre. Then rattles your poet on the inside looking for room now is Carrick Morna Pine and then Active God. They come on towards two out. Texar back in the lead now on the inside from Advanced Virgo. Carrick Morna Pine is being produced now by Philip Enright as they go over two out. Carrick Morna Pine is down, took off too early and has crashed out and Texar has been left a couple of lengths in front now from Advanced Virgo and then Fogurn on as they race on to the final flight. It's Texar out in front and clear and safely over from Advanced Virgo and Fogurn on and running up to the finish. Texard, who was always prominent, has gone right away following the forward of Carrick Moorna Pine to win in great style. Texard sheds his maiden tag for Jack Kennedy and Gordon Elliott. Very tight for the Miners, possibly Fogurnon up on the outside of Advance Virgo.